Hey YouTube, this is an update to a video that I did yesterday, alert crust destabilization happening now. There were a number of cities uh, that were listed in this video as having uh, sinkhole events or train derailments in the last week, and we have uh, numerous events to add to that list. Let me go through the ones from yesterday real quick. Washington State, Missouri, Baltimore, Brooklyn, Philadelphia, uh, a couple in New Jersey, a uh, sinkhole and a train derailment in Atlanta, Santa Barbara, Louisiana, the St. Lawrence Seaway, uh, West Virginia, Florida, a couple in Florida, and we actually have a few more, Knox County, Indiana, and four events in North Carolina, and we had Argentina, Morocco, Montana, and Erie Canal. So this is what I have um, had sent to me in the last 24 hours. Uh, Kingston, New York, sinkhole. Naples, Florida, this happened a few weeks ago and it wasn't published until yesterday. This one is near Lafayette, Indiana. This sinkhole occurred in near Boise, Idaho. Um, it killed a woman, there was an investigation and they did not release information about it until today. Rainbow Boulevard in Las Vegas, they had a sinkhole they repaired and the next day another one opened up right next to it. Manitoba, there was actually quite a few uh, large ones in Canada. Train jumps tracks in Howard County, this occurred in Maryland last night. Bay Ridge, this is uh, near Bensonhurst, New York. Bay Ridge is dangerously close to collapsing in on itself and being swallowed up by the earth, say residents and civic leaders who are demanding that the city repair the broken century-old sewer and water pipes that they say have created a number of sinkholes and collapses on neighborhood streets. Residents say the massive 20-foot sinkhole on 79th Street near 4th Avenue that nearly gobbled up a car last Thursday is just the latest in a litany of street cave-ins and depressions that have formed throughout the community in recent months. And a lot of these articles are alluding to similar events in these areas. Giant hole on Trans-Canada Highway. This was in Saskatchewan, I believe. East of the Alberta-Saskatchewan border. Also, there was an article that came out following a city council meeting that officials fear there may be a pipeline explosion that occurs from the sinkhole in Louisiana, but they have stopped providing public updates. Now, this is just a screen capture from a video that was put out this morning from Dutch Sense uh, showing the earthquake activity around the Pacific Rim worldwide and in North America in the last week and I'm going to show you a map in a second with all the updated pins of where these events have occurred and I want you to notice something. The edge of these earthquake areas are right up against the edge of where all these sinkholes and train derailments are occurring. So basically the areas that aren't having earthquakes are having sinkholes and train derailments. This is the North American Craton most of you are probably familiar with this term. It's remained relatively stable for the past 600 million years. And a lot of earthquakes happen along this. They also do a lot of fracking along this border. Now one thing I had posted under the video, and I don't know if everyone saw this, MIT had released a report that in three days prior to the Tohoku earthquake, the 9.0 in Japan, there was a large amount of radon that was released from the fault zones. These kinds of observations are consistent with an idea called the lithosphere-atmosphere-ionosphere coupling mechanism. The thinking is that in the days before an earthquake, the great stresses in a fault that are about to give caused the release of large amounts of radon. This is a screen capture from Oklahoma this morning. 2,764 CPMs were recorded. Someone did a screenshot of this before it was taken down. I also have the graph. The highest 
CPM level measured was 3,455. I'm awaiting confirmation that this was not a glitch in the system. Um, there are no wildfires in the area. Uh, there are a couple of nuke plants just north of there and then a few hundred miles west of there. None of them are reporting any problems at this time. I don't believe that this is from Fukushima. I believe that this is radon that is coming out of the ground. And if you look at this map again, the areas that are having earthquakes versus the areas that are having sinkholes and train derailments, Oklahoma straddles that. And there's been a number of high radiation readings that have come from this area and from the East Coast, from North Carolina and from Virginia over the past few days. So if I come across any more information, I will share it. I will post all the links below the video. And one more thing before I go, this is the updated map of where I've plotted all of these news articles. Now the oldest one is from February. The newest one is from Brevard or Brevard County, Florida. There were five water main breaks in Brevard County this morning. Four train derailments in North Carolina. I don't know what's going on here, guys, but we really need to keep an eye on this. So share this video around. Let me know what you think and post any links that you might come across that have to do with this. And in the meantime, stay safe.